I want to first off thank thank, thank Chief and the Mayor and Chief Penny and all of the, the these men and women did an amazing job and it's just you you said it Chief it could have been a lot worse of course we're devastated I mean this is, we've been here 65 years and have somebody shooting in your church but you know we don't understand why these things happen but we know God's in control and we're gonna pray for that little five-year-old boy and pray for the lady that was deceased her family and all and and the other gentlemen but I don't know it's just um, kind of in a fog but you know just believe that you know we're, we're gonna stay strong we're gonna continue to to move forward what's up guys so you heard from Joel Osteen there that surprising that happened at that church so what actually happened was a woman came in with a younger kid the child was like five years old so she came in opened fire and some off-duty police officers that were working at the church um, took her down she died on scene and the little kid was critically injured so we're not sure what's going to turn out what's what's going on with his situation there was also an older man maybe in his 50s there that got injured as well so the basic question i think a lot of you have is why would something like this and how could something like this happen you know especially at a church like isn't that just supposed to be like how could something demonic happen at a church but you got to understand like god is not in control like you know the common phrase oh god's got everything under control everything happens for a reason yada yada and yeah god can take a bad situation and turn it into good if people believe him for it and spend time in prayer but you have to remember satan is the god of this world second corinthians 4 4 and what that means is see in the garden of eden god gave authority to adam adam and eve they had authority over everything they creeped crawled everything sin came into the world adam sold out his authority to the devil when he sinned satan became the god of this world that's like when jesus uh, was being tempted by the devil he said, if you bow down and serve me, all this that you see shall be yours because it's been delivered unto me. So Satan is now in control and the Bible says that God uses those who are unsaved like puppets. He plays them and Satan comes to steal, kill and destroy. So it is Satan that is behind these things. But a Christian does have protection though. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the Almighty, under the hand of the Almighty. A thousand shall fall on my side, ten thousand in my right hand, but it should not come near me. So the individual believer who knows his rights in Christ can plead the blood of protection, can claim the promises of God, can bind evil spirits from working against them. But another very important thing is stopping, having prayer time in the morning before you start your day, and making yourself available to be led by the Holy Spirit. Because listening to the Holy Spirit is very important. And that's part of God's protection. It's not just claiming promises and then going out and doing whatever you want to do. An example of this is the Holy Spirit leading the Apostle Paul in the book of Acts. There's many times, but this one in particular, Paul wanted to go to Jerusalem. But the Holy Spirit, through other believers, was warning Paul, do not go to Jerusalem. There's going to be problems there for you. Um, they're going to afflict you, this and that. But Paul went anyway. And he had the result of the uh, pressure and the affliction. So part of our protection is listening and being sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And also, I'm sure they have people that are over prayer for that church and for the services. Maybe, you know, the Bible says um, faith works by love. Maybe... There was some unforgiveness going on. Maybe there were some problems. Maybe somebody missed their prayer assignment. I don't know the exact details of how that person got in there. And I'm not blaming anybody, but things happen. But you as a believer individually need to spend time with God daily, be sensitive to him on the inside and be led by the spirit of God. Maybe he would tell you to stay home that morning. And sometimes things happen, but he'll equip you to get through it. So maybe you would be one of those that, that would be there and God would just deliver you from it. Like there was times when uh, the Pharisees tried to kill Jesus and push him off a cliff, but Jesus slipped right through them unharmed. He actually disappeared in the crowd. So Jesus was in the midst of people trying to kill him, but he escaped. So 
There's many ways for God to protect you. Be open to them all. Don't just start your day and just do whatever you want and ask God to bless it. It's important to, be, to listen to God, even about going to church. Listen to him on a daily basis. I want to commend those officers. She had a long gun, and it could have been a lot worse. But they stepped up and they did, they did their job. And I want to thank them for that.